Hey, what's up, bootstrappers? Guess what day it is? It is Flashcard Friday, flashing across the screen right there. All right, I'm Ryan Nickel, and I'm your host this week. All right, so we got flashcards. We have four different kinds of flashcards. We have talking to buyers, talking to sellers, talking to, well, not talking to anybody, but doing some simple math, and then, of course, how to find the off-market properties. And conveniently enough, these flashcards are broken down into clubs and spades and diamonds and hearts just for your pleasure so that you can go ahead and keep these things organized. And um, yeah, that's why we do this. So if you don't have your flashcards, just go ahead and click the link right there below or head on over to bootstraprei.com forward slash flashcards and get your flashcards because all you are is just one deal away, one deal from changing your entire financial future. If you get that one deal, man, you're gonna get the taste, you're gonna get the bug, you're gonna get the desire to go out and to do more and to, and to build a, a business like I have. And it takes like five minutes a day. Practicing these cards, five minutes a day is gonna do exactly that. So let's just jump into what this week's flash card actually is. Uh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. We're getting down to the wire as far as like our last final flash cards here. So, all right, we got the king of clubs. Check that out. It says, some kind of margin for us. Uh, this is a good one. Um, when I first got started, I used this one a lot. As I become more professional, I would say, more confident in my ability, uh, this one rarely comes up. It does come up from time to time, but for the most part, it's just a given. I'm here to make some margins or some profit. So let me just go ahead and read this card to you and explain a little bit here. It says, the king of clubs, some, time, some kind of margin for us. Use this one the seller ask if you're going to give them a lowball offer. I say, you just, so you say to them, you know, quote, quote, I love that. We cannot pay full market value for your property. There needs to be some kind of margin for us, but we will make up for that in speed and convenience. Knowing this, is there a reason for us still to talk about your property and situation? Real simple, right? So um, sometimes this is one of the reasons why I don't lead with the phone call like, hey, I'm an investor, I'm here to buy your house. Because the, the term investor has a lot of negative connotations with it. And one of the negative connotations they have is like, oh, you're going to be a lowball investor. You're going to give me a lowball offer for my house. And so uh, if that ever were to come up in the conversation, like, are you going to give me a lowball offer? I usually say, you know, and this is kind of how I do it tongue in cheek. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm sure you want to sell your house for as, uh, as much as you possibly can. And I want to get it for as little as I possibly can. I'm you know, I'm sure we're going to meet somewhere in the middle, but I'm looking to, to make some kind of margin. You know, realize that I, if you're going to fix it up and sell it, you can go ahead and, and make a whole lot more money doing it that way. But if you're looking to, to sell it quickly and have a convenient, a smooth process, then I'm your guy. And I'm going to make a little bit of money on my end when I turn around and I sell it because I'm going to, I'm going to do that for ease and convenience on your end. And so that's usually how the conversation goes. Um, and so you can just, you know, talk to him about that. It's like, hey, you know what? I have to make a profit. I have to make some kind of margin. Uh, and so what I do is I help you out by, by closing quick, doing everything I, say, I tell you I'm gonna do, and making it as smooth of a, of a transition for you as possible. And in the process, I get paid for, for making this happen to you, or happen that way. So that's, that's you know some kind of margin. You can use your own spin on it, your own words. Um, but the idea is to be completely truthful with them. In doing so, uh, you can one break the ice. You can do a little, you know, a little humor. Uh, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I'll get to like, you know, how much how much money you're looking to make on this property, and I'll and I'll and I'll jokingly say as much as I possibly can, and then they're like taken back a little bit by that. They're like, oh, okay, yeah. I say no, you know, we're here to we're here to make a fair profit on this thing. We're not here to you know make our whole entire year salary on one deal, but we also need to make sure that we are making some kind of money on this because it doesn't. It's, we, we're not a charity. This does cost money. It's free, or it's not free for us. You know, we have to to make sure that we can keep the lights on and stay in business. And in order to do that, we need to make sure that we are making some kind of a profit on the transaction. Um, and then with that, you know, it just goes into, you know, why are you even here? Why are we even talking? And that's the whole point when you end with this one is like, you know, with that being said, you know, knowing, knowing this, that I am going to not give you full price offer or, or full retail offer, um, but I'm gonna make up for that in speed and convenience. Uh, it, knowing this, is there a reason for us still to talk? Are you looking to sell quickly? You know, what is your situation? The whole idea is to get that objection and put it to the side so that you can talk to them about what their real true situation is, why they're looking to have an investor come and buy their house in the first place. And so don't get distracted, don't get lost in the weeds about like, oh my gosh, they asked me this question, do I tell them, what do I tell them, how do I get around this situation? Just be truthful, be honest, make it yourself, your own words, you know, uh, you know, your own, your own phrase, 
um, this is a good one, you know, some kind of margin, or yeah, I'm gonna make some kind of profit or whatever. But the idea is to move past that so you can actually address their real concern, which is like, hey, what is the situation that's causing you to wanna sell now and to sell quickly? All right, that makes sense to you. Go ahead and get your click, click the link below, get the set of cards, guys, and I'll see you on next week's flashcard.